guys and welcome back to Behind the Play. Our next guest is known for taking some high flying marks. Of course it's Luke McFarlane and today we're here in the studio to interrupt his session to ask him a few questions. In his career Luke spends most of his time down back. However, outside of football, if he's not home with his wife and kids, he's here practicing, recording and writing some songs. Let's go interrupt his session. So I wish we are here in your studio mate, how often do you practice? I'm finding that home life's pretty busy at the moment so I don't get as much practice as I would like but I tend to just rock up here and, and just, just let the magic just flow. <clears throat> you are the lead singer, yes. but uh, talk us through your band mate. Um, I'm actually collaborating with some guys from Stella's Kitchen that are a local um, original band here in Perth so a bit of a, a makeshift sort of band that's been put together and um, just doing some recording. What makes you more nervous, playing football or a gig? <laughs> it's a good question. There, there, there are different type of anxiety. I think um, before a gig, it's, it's genuine sort of excitement slash nervousness. Whereas I think before footy, it's more um, maybe just stone cold fear. <laughs> <laughs> Talk us through your first gig. I think it was, I did like a talent art um, back when I was about 12 or 13 and I sang the song Time of Your Life. I, I think I killed it, yeah, there's a lot of a lot of females there that night and they, they were pretty happy with my work so I thought this is a career path for me. Can we get any references to you killing it? Um, my mum? Yeah. <laughs> Ring up Mrs McFarlane, I think she'll um, corroborate. Is there a moment that stands out to you, Woosh, that you realise how much you love music? Yeah, I, I, actually, I attended a, a gig with, with my dad um, back in 1992, so before you were born, Matty. And um, Paul McCartney, who I guess is someone else you don't know, but he was a member of the Beatles, and I went to a, um, a performance at Subiaco Oval, and he was, he was doing his thing, and I remember as a, young, as a young boy just finding that really amazing, and the music was great, and... His showmanship was great, and I remember thinking I really want to play guitar and, and play music. Please put your hands together for Luke McFarlane and leaders! You won the footy show Screamers. Talk us through that process. I mean, for those of you that, that never watched it or don't know what it was, um, yeah, it was sort of along the, um, the same sort of model as Australian Idol, so yeah, anyone around the, the football community could get up and have a sing. And, um, yeah, I, I thought I'd throw my hat in the ring and, and I didn't really expect too much from it, but yeah, as the year progressed, I uh, seemed to just keep moving through the ranks and, and got some momentum and I was really um, supported well by the, the WA public. Um, I think Eagles fans as well as Dockers fans were, were getting behind me, so that was good. Leaders come and leaders go But as they come for the sense of man Play AFL, you're a lead singer of a band, you're a father of two, and you're studying pharmacy, not in that order, but <laughs> at Curtin. What's life like in the McFarland household and how do you fit it all in? I'm not sure. I've got a very understanding wife. I think that's the first, you know, I need to, to give her all the credit really because she does allow me to do a lot of things. But um, I like to think that when I'm at home, I'm, I'm uh, really putting in some good work at home and, and then when I'm here I'm doing my best here and, and just you know, in any facet of my life I try and sort of give it my all but um, but yeah I like, I've always enjoyed a bit of variety um, but I, I certainly think I mean it's a busy life but I, I wouldn't have it any other way. 